start a new composition from footage and import the main render as a sequence. Set the same frame rate as in Blender, in my case 24 frames per second. I will rename this sequence to main render. Next is glossy direction pass. I will place it above the main render and I will set the screen blending mode. This will give us a lot more detail especially on the part where the weight is. I will set the opacity to 50%. Next is Ambient Occlusion Pass. I will set the blending mode to Soft Light. We got a lot more details in the foreground but the sky and horizon look bad. We need a black and white mask that will tell After Effects where to use this pass. The blender is called Vector, in Photoshop is called Mask and in After Effects is called Luma Mate. They all work are the same way, black has value of 0 and white has value of 1. We will use Miss Pass as Luma. With levels which work similar to color ramp in Blender, we can easily isolate the sky. In order for this to work as Luma made, it is essential that it be one layer above the layer we want it to affect. This works but the opposite of what we want. We just need to invert this. Now we have a lot more details on the hill. In my opinion, the most beautiful part of this image is this reddish gradient on the horizon as well as the one that go from darker blue to lighter blue in the sky. How to make this in After Effects? I will start with a solid color and choose an orange color. We can easily change color later. I will add a mist pass and levels to isolate the sky. Now we need a gradient. To add the gradient I will first create a new composition for this mist pass. I will call this mist plus gradient. Now I can make a luma mask in a separate composition. I will paste the levels from before that will isolate the sky. Now we need a gradient. I will create a new adjustment layer and call it gradient. And set the blending mode to multiply. Now we just need to tweak this gradient ramp settings to get the mask we want. Now we have an orange color on the horizon. To highlight the horizon even more I will add a white solid and use the same luma mask as before to isolate the sky. After that I will create a mask around the horizon and add a feather for soft edges. Now we can create a dark blue gradient at the top in the same way. We will add a blue solid color and a new composition with a mist pass and a gradient that we will use as the luma main.
to break up the perfect gradient and add some clouds to the sky, I will use this photo I found on Armsplash. I will use the mist pass as a mask and I will set the blending mode to soft light. Next I will add the halation effect. I will find edges and paint them red. Blur them and set the screen blending mode. With this we get a red color on the edges that are more bright. This is an effect that some cameras have. Next I will add a little chromatic aberration effect, but not too much, I will reduce the opacity to 20%. Also some glove and grain effect. Now we can add some color correction. For start I will add a S curve effect. I don't want too strong blacks, especially since I want to achieve a cinematic look. With selective colors I can easily isolate colors. I will try get a shade of red and blue that I like. Finally, I will add a dust overlay video I found online. This is animation I got at the end, but I think it's too boring. I want to add something more dynamic to the animation. So I decide to go back to Blender and make another animation. I take this robot from my last tutorial. I put it in Mixamo and found this animation. I back robot in Blender and set it as parent object to the car, so it follows the car all time. After that I added a new camera directly to the car, set the focal length to 25 and added its apparent object to the car as well. I also added a camera bubble animation back on Grover. After rendering I insert the animation into After Effects and combining the blending modes. I also put this glitchy video several times with the different lady boats above the animation and I get this.
Thank you for watching the tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe and look in the description for my step-by-step -step tutorials.